the, the history of this uh, that we know of, of this dark this dark queen. This, she's she's like I don't know like three or four hundred feet tall. It's just massive tight Titan darkness kind of thing, right? Um, the first time that me and Phil encountered her, well, Phil seen her attached to somebody else and became aware of her. And then we were doing this event just before inauguration to bring in a lot of light and love because we knew everything, everybody was divided. And, and she got real pissed. Um, I, she was working on this timeline and uh, and uh, the, the night, that, that same night, um, she came into Phil's daughter's dream and said, I'm going to take one of your family's souls. You can choose. It's going to be you or your dad. Right. And it, so that just totally crossed the line. Um, so the next day, uh, me and Phil, um, we go to Orion because she's quarantined under Orion right now under these grids like she, and forced her into this uh, peace agreement. Um, it was brutal, though. Like we yeah, were well it was yeah it wasn't just us, us two it's 150,000 plus people yeah. from, uh, beings and many alien beings uh basically invaded it attacked her yeah yeah they had uh, they were firing back on us we went to the crystal dimension and it was so cool this part of it this part was the cool part about it the rest of it was like ugh. um but um we go to the crystal dimension and inside there they had this rainbow pyramid and i've gone into it a few times and so they tell us once to go to the crystal that I mentioned because we're programming our staff, we're programming crystals and we're, we're getting ready for this, for, for going after this dark queen, right? Um, and uh, so they tell us to go into this uh, rainbow pyramid. So we go into this rainbow pyramid and the next thing you know, it takes off like a ship and I was like, Woo <laughs> like we're like flying into <laughs> outer space, heading towards Orion. I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> like that, that part of it was awesome. But the, the battle part of it was gross. We had to clean ourselves for it took us a couple of days of cleaning our energy like uh, afterwards it was just really dense so there was that and then um i was showing a past life just before the ice age um there was a, this battle um, it was in the t time of the dinosaurs actually and there was as guardians and there was um there was um other light beings Mer merlin was there as well um so this might have been, um, depending on the Ice Age happened just before Atlantis ended, or if it was just after Atlantis, or if it was way before. Either way, because I don't know exactly the time. So this Dark Queen, she was there with the reptilians and these other dark beings fighting the light, fighting the Asgard the, and the human-like bodies and Merlin. And, and there was this crazy battle that happened. And... Uh, the dark ended up winning the battle. Uh, it was brutal, um, but a bunch of the light beings got out and one of the Asgardians shot this ray from their ship and just went boom, right over the earth to throw it into an ice age. And to, so that to prevent a total dom domination of the earth from the, these darker beings. So that was the second time I seen this uh, dark princess or queen or whatever she is. And then the third time, I was doing some work with somebody and um, and it was never planned. She says, hey, I need some help with some third eye clearing. So I'm like, yeah, okay, let's jump on a call. So I jump on a call and then uh, I get guided to take her to like the heaven realm. They, they take me into this crystal city or not crystal, this golden city. Uh, and then there is this uh, universal Akashic record keeper that's just sitting there. I'm like, what is he doing here? And what's Odin doing here? This because I never see Odin. Odin just shows up. I've seen Odin like maybe once ever before that. And and so so Yeshua's there. Yeshua takes us in and he says, You gotta tune into her third eye. And so I'm tuning in. The next thing you know, we're in Asgard and there's this battle scene going on. And guess who's there? This dark queen again and she's she's sending in all these demons and breaking through the energy shield that asgard had and coming in and attacking the city and they're trying to get the asgard um core like the power core that powers the powers the city and uh so that was the third time and but i was able i was able to take the core because i was back in this time moment so they told me to take the core and bring it into earth and then and we repowered Asgard. So that's the third time that I've seen her. 
And then last night when we were clearing Atlantis, there was the, uh, uh, I was tuning in to this mind control program, which I'm thinking now is part of this veil. And it was it was energy that was this program's made from this the same dark queen. Now she's sequestered over in Orion right now. And I've confirmed it even with other another person too outside of our group who's really into it. And I just asked, hey, have you ever heard of this dark this dark queen or dark princess, whatever she is? And he said, you mean the one on Orion? And I'm like, yes. And he goes, yeah, she was put there about a year ago. She's been, she was on Earth and she got moved, moved over there. So it's all these pieces that are coming together. So it's this, this one is, is about removing the dark programming that's existing still. Like, so she's sequestered in Orion. She's got, she's under a peace agreement. That's great. But there's still these programs that are out there and we just want to shut them down and basically break the veil. So the intention is definitely tonight is to break the veil and break down these, uh, these dark programs that are creating mind blocks on the collective consciousness. So that's why we're here. So thanks for coming. That's the, it's crazy. Yeah. You think about it. They could write movies about this. Like, I swear. Ah, they already have, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Star Wars. No, Star Wars. I Trek. have, yeah, probably. I have a sense this has something to do with something that Lindsay and I were talking about about a year ago and it's something to do with MMM and the sound of M and yeah it came up again this morning and it's just it's in my mind while you're talking there so I don't I think it's something to do with sound and the yeah, sound could, of M. like yeah if you're gonna be breaking some things with sound like however you want to break them last night I was um I was channeling some ancient magic, very much like what's in Merlin's book. I think I even took it from Merlin's book or might've been Toss' book, I'm not sure. Um, but the, uh, it, there'll be uh, whatever you feel that you're called to. Like there's a reason everybody's here right now and everybody's bringing in an element to take this on, to take this on. We're here together for a reason. And if we share this out, if we feel like anybody who watches it is gonna be the same thing, they're gonna add on to it. Uh, we'll, we'll just set the intention that nobody can take away from breaking the veil. They can only assist in breaking the veil when watching this. Uh, so there's no reversing it. Um, and um, how, yeah, David, yeah. David, you know how I mentioned this morning about anadrenic home and change its uh, molecule stretch con uh, constitutes. Can we try that at the end or at the beginning? Because that's yeah. what's playing on my mind. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do that at the. Let's do that at, and that once we're done, just taking the veil down, and then we'll go in and change that structure. Do you know how to, like, what, what's, where do we go for that? Do you know? No, we just bring in source energy, source, and actually change change the uh, molecule to do the opposite of what it's been doing now. So we 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 manifest it into a change of the molecule, so it's it's supposed to give you life and youth it gives you age but when you're using it from the, the bad, bad I don't, i'm not even going through what, how you get it but just change it into an opposite you're talking about that like, like, yeah. that like endorphin or that thing that's created when the children are in fear that they're using in hollywood to like give themselves longer life yeah yeah um yeah we, we change it so it gives it it does the opposite change the molecule by bringing in sauce so then we I'll should probably that, yeah. we should probably change it like once it leaves once it leaves the uh yeah and set the intention if it's used for darkness if it's used for darkness for it to have a 10 percent like worse worse effect or something like that right so they think they're anti-aging the yeah they're aging right yeah okay yeah that's cool yeah, yeah we could do, we'll do that at the end because we're going to be going to source uh, right away so what we'll do is we'll just get into uh meditative state so the only way that i know how to track these things down um is going into the sun so here's one of these ancient things that came out during a past life regression with matt smith 
uh, and it was to uh, connect with the eye of the sun with your third eye, go into the sun portal and inside the sun portal, there's source, and then you connect with source through the ankh symbol. So the ankh's like a cross and it has that little U horseshoe at the top. And um, when you, you tune into source connecting through the ankh, then you, you're right into source energy, you're walking right into source energy, able to channel it. And I, I got source, I pulled the information out, where's the dark program? And they sent me just to Pakistan. And I, cause I just followed the light source. And the, um, and, and, and another interesting thing about that is when you look at like Horus and um, Egyptian gods in, in hieroglyphs on the pyramids and the walls, um, you'll actually see Horus holding an ankh symbol. So they knew that back then as well. And I had no idea. And, until weeks after I did my deep regression and then one of my friends pointed it out to me um, that that horse is holding the ankh symbol and it's all there if you google horse um, if you google, if you google like, um, hieroglyphics on pyramids and you see the symbols and you, if you, when you see the gods and you see horse he's holding the ankh so that's uh, and they were all affiliated and knew how important the sun was uh, so this is um, information that we're bringing back into the now time uh, and we're just going to leverage it because it's 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 true information so what we'll do because we, we have an idea that there's one of these dark programs at the north pole so but so we'll go into the sun first we'll connect with the sun and we'll get the source to shine a, a light beam going into the first one we'll take it out and we'll go back because we'll, we'll still be in source, so we'll just come back into source and then send out the next beam and just see where these six targets are. Um, and we'll just follow the uh, the source beams. So source will just point us where we got to go, and then we'll take them out and break this veil. This is an important piece of work here. Um, anybody you want to call in there, Phil? Uh, I'll call in uh, Emmy, uh, Alantis, Emmy's. Merlin and uh, Evra, my crystal source aspect, and also the, the Andromeda system I'm quite connected to, and also yeah. the Paradigm, obviously. Okay. Carolyn, you want to call on anybody? Definitely the dragons. The Arcturians just came to mind. Angelics, just in general, all of them. Yeah, all the ones that are still choosing God, anyway. <laughs> not, not the, True. Uh, not the Archon ones who are still separated. <laughs> yeah, we, which God though? That's the point. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just saw a slight, slight. Let's we'll say light, light, not darkness, light. Um. As far as um, who I'm going to call in here, see who wants to come in. We send it masters. I guess we'll call in the Galactic Federation. They are a consciousness program. We can probably help out. Call in the Asgardians. Uh, okay. Call in I'm gonna call in Toth. Twelve sisters, the the original twelve uh, goddesses of creation, of Earth, systems within, and then yeah, we should call in the um, who are these? Who are the the uh, let's go on this one too. They are, um, we'll call in the Fae Collective. We'll call in, um, they're like, uh, angelic Fae's. They're like, they're, they're about four feet tall, the big wings. And they were, um, they were working with the, the directions, like the north, the south, the east, the west, uh, in, in all time. Okay. I don't know what their names are. So I've only seen them once, but they wanted to come through. We'll call in. Uh, so we got Andromedans, we got Pleiadians, 
call in the Vagans, all higher dimensional celestial beings who want to assist humanity uh, as high as good collectively to break this veil, this veil. Call in our higher selves, higher selves, all who watch, who are assisting. Call in Gaia. She's going to send us um, a lot of heart energy that will assist in breaking this down as well. Okay, so we'll just get into a quick meditative state before you get going here. So take a deep breath. Breathe in golden light through your crown chakra, all through your chakras. When you exhale, let go of all your fears and your worries for the week and send that into anchor into the center of Gaia, anchoring into the heart of Gaia. And breathing in green energy from Gaia through all of our chakras, upper root, past our heart, through our upper crown, creating a pillar of light source. So the crystal dimension, we may need some crystal dimension. We'll call in the crystal dimension. Where's my crystal? Okay, I got it right here. Mary crystal. All right. Um, so they'll help us program anything, any energy that has to, to deprogram the program that we're breaking down. They'll send that as well. Okay, take another deep breath in, golden light to the crown. Out our root chakra, anchoring into the center of Gaia again. Calling in inner earth, inner earth wants to assist with this inner earth. We're here to help, okay. And bring our light up to the sun. Okay, so I think we gotta go to inner earth and then into the sun. Okay, all right. Okay, so we have the Lumerians here to assist us. Wonderful. All right, I'm just going to um, throw golden bubbles, Lumerian shields. Hold on a sec. What is this? All right, so breathe in the blue, the blue energy from the inner earth. Breathe it in, up through your chakras and feel it expand into our field, expand into our chakras, creating a bubble around us. Lumerian shield, light language coats coming over top of it. Ancient, ancient, old Lumerian light language coats coming over top of our Lumerian shield. Okay. All right. Um, that's really cool very cool okay all right i know heather's i'm um, just joining here so she's just have to tune in okay so what we're going to do is we're going to connect our heart chakras together along to our hearts of gaia we're going to connect our hearts to um, all the collectives of higher vibrational that are assisting for humanity's highest good for our highest good on this um starships Atlantean starships coming in. Who's in it? Light beans. Light beans. Okay. Palladian. They look Palladian. All right. There. Now throw the disco light of truth in there just to be double check feeling into them are they genuine are they for highest good no all right we are not accepting the Atlantean ship you're not accepting them okay okay it's the importance of discerning you have to discern you can't just take everybody you got to feel into them okay a lot of tricksters training a lot this time they're trying to trick again all right, so we are gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna breathe in golden light into our hearts. 
as we're breathing in our heart energy is expanding around us as well expanding within us expanding within us uh, this will be a safe way to travel through okay so we're gonna go breathe in some more golden light into our heart expanding our heart energy breathing out just going deeper into our heart energy we're gonna go into a special special garden area there's going to be a golden circle with geometric lights uh, shapes and light language and ancient signs around and it's going to connect us deep into Gaia so we're going to sit in a circle in this golden circle within our heart space and we're going to tune into inner earth so we're going there is a blue beam coming from inner earth, the Lumerian world, and we're going to follow it, the consciousness down into the blue crystal that's in the Lumerian inner earth realm. Okay, so we're going to go tune in with your third eye. We'll see Lumerians everywhere as well. But just tune into the crystal with your third eye and, and merge with it. It's the consciousness of inner, inner earth. It's like the sun of inner earth and just become the blue consciousness, the blue light that is also activating our shields more. And now, as they're gonna assist us, we're gonna create a light beam of blue light into the sun. We're gonna connect our third eyes with the sun and we're gonna follow the beam right into the sun. And we're gonna go into the sun, into the source light and using the angst symbol, you'll see it, it's either right in the hands of Father Creator or is, is right in front of the source light. The source light's within it. Tune in your third eyes and then step into the source energy. Okay, now we're into the source light. Everybody's vibrating higher. Wherever we go, we go as one consciousness and we come back as one consciousness. And as we're in the source light, we're going to pull in the information related to these dark programs that are creating this veil, this memory block, and we're going to pull the information to show us where the first, where the first um, um, dark program is. And um, there's one by the North Pole. Maybe we'll go there first and we'll get the source to send out a beam of light right to where we got to go. And it does look like it's at the North Pole. So we're going to follow this beam of light into it looks like it's off of a shoreline um, um some dark waters this looks like it's in the water it looks like this one's in the water uh, so we're just going to follow it into the water now creating shields unifying our light so it's super bright there's this uh this dark energy that's there, we're going to illuminate, let him illuminate it so we can see it clear. So there is an entrance into this thing, okay. It actually goes above the water, but the entrance is below the water, okay. All right, so combining our light. We're gonna we're gonna enter it in. There's nobody in here. It's just a program. So we're just gonna walk in with intention. Our shine is so bright that nothing can even touch our shield. And anything that does is gonna go to source. And we're gonna find the conscious uh, this uh, quantum this computer program. And we're just, with intention, we're gonna go in to the program and we're gonna shut it down and delete it. So if you hear a need to say light language here to bring in more light into this place, we're, we're, we're basically going to disintegrate this, this whole thing. We're just going to absolve it and destroy it. <sighs> Sending in 12 dimensional rays. crystal here for this. Um, what do I do with this? 
right, we're gonna give this back to source. Okay. Nice got it, nice got it. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna channel some more light, bringing in light. So much light filling out this with so much light, everything is starting to disintegrate. Destroying all ancient dark magic associated with this program. Phil's trying to get... Phil, if you're getting information out of this, don't forget that. So you're probably picking up some information. Before we destroy it. Dragon Collective coming in to assist. Breathing in golden flames, just ripping this energy system apart as well as program. Crystal programming, crystal programming. Bring in codes to destroy, destroy this network. Bring in codes, crystal beings, crystal dimensional beings. Bring in the codes to destroy this network. Destroy the memory blocks, destroy the veil. Yeah. get out of here soon. This thing's gonna basically implode on itself. Okay. All right, let's just step out of the structure here. We'll go back out through the water. And let's just get to, we got about 30 seconds here. You just gotta quickly finish up what you're gonna do is it's about to implode. The program's debugging. Getting out in the water, everybody out. Everybody get out. Feels coming out. Let's come out. Uh, let's just go about a hundred feet back here, and let's create a big shield around this thing. And then we're going to send in source light over top. It's ten seconds. All right, everybody's out, so we're good. All right, it's just getting sucked up to source now. Wow, oh, this actually got roots. Poseidon, Poseidon's assistant here, he's he's cutting the roots off. Somehow they had roots into the bottom of this seabed. It's not anymore, it's, it's all been it's getting dissolved and back up to source here. Okay, great work on that one. Okay, now we're just gonna follow the ray back into this. Dave. Yeah? Dave, I'm picking up a, a, a portal nearby, low vibrational portal to inner. It's definitely not one of ours. It's actually a portal that's actually going, instead of the portal going out, it's actually going into a so I think if we could raise, if we could d raise the vibration of it, we should be able to dis disperse it. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this is about. Port Twin Earth, I'm not sure what the inner Earth part is. But it's definitely low vibrational for us. Okay. Like Sorry. Definitely connected to this. It's definitely connected to what yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's just send in some uh, source light with angelic light, golden light codes there to close this up. As guardians are coming into this. Oh, Blue lightning coming in, seal it. The light was moving around, like reversing the uh, 
what opened this thing up, it just reversed it and closed it. So. It's closed. It's, it's closed. Okay. Did pick up on that one, Bill. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna go back into follow the source light that came here, and then we're so we're back in the sun. Can you just connect again with your third eye through the ink coming back into source? And we're gonna ask, we're gonna call in, pull in the information that will lead us to another part of this network that needs to get disabled to break the veal. And there's a ray coming out. I'm just gonna follow that this ray, and it's going, it's going to Dubai. It's going to Dubai for some reason. Uh, okay. It's behind. It's not in the city of Dubai. It's some mountain range here. It's got this crater in the middle of it, uh, in this mountain. Maybe it's a, it could be a volcano, but it looks like a crater with some... And it's sitting right here. So there's like a bunch of mountains, these peak pitches of this mountain and in the middle there's this crater and then we're just going to expose expose this to see what we, we're dealing with here uh, okay this one is occupied Shh, putting in a block force field around us cloaking everybody here okay uh, calling in support Andromedans Andromedans come in Dramas, Victorians come in, Archangels come in, surround this base, surround this base. This is a base and a program uh, once. All right, let's just stand from behind the shield that we're at here and we can go in in a second, but let's just lay the first layer of high frequency rays all over this base. And we'll clear out all these reptilians that are here. And then we'll be able to take these high frequency rays. It's time for you to leave. Space is obsolete. Okay, it's being deleted. It's being deleted. Phil's going in to fight them. Okay. All right. I'm just going to follow Phil and see. Got to clear this out. Is it safe for us? Wait. One more minute, wait one more minute. So for those who are not, do not want to go and just wait a minute here, it's just getting cleared out. If you're, if, you, if you're very confident in your skills, you can go in and assist. Can you bring, bring in your dragon with you? Shula <laughs> Tira. Evacuating. Drawbones are taking some prisoners aboard their ships right now. They have like a whole command station here. It's just crazy. Some vet creatures I've never seen before. Yeah, yeah I know. I don't know what they are. Okay. Opening up the portal to send. <laughs> It's almost done, it's almost clear. There are some below deck here, there's some below this. figure out um all right so it's safe for everybody to come in now it's safe for everybody to come in to destroy this program so we 
Where's the program? Show us where it's down. It's in below. It's this is above. It's within this crater. One below this uh, ship or whatever this is that we're in here. I'm just gonna go below it to the crater. Okay, it's. It's coming from this, uh, this is a technology she set up here. It's shooting out um, a hologram program. Um, it looks like um, an oval shape that all this light is coming out of it. Um, it's, but it's, it's dark light and it's mixed in with some purple light as well. So she's a, obviously a master of light here. All right, so just send in um, high dimensional frequencies inside this pro this holographic projector program. I'll just break it right now. Thor's Thor's system Thor is coming in. Ooh, the hammer of Thor is coming in. It's going to smash this thing right into pieces. It was like a giant vortex of light all around here, sucking this up. Okay. Wow. That's, you know, where are you sending this? It's being sent to the dark dimension. Okay. All right, so we can uh, take a step back here. The thing's destroyed, and as the energy's just getting sucked up in this vortex, and they're sending it into the dark dimension. So just stand back. So use your energy to push this thing into source. Just send it out. It doesn't exist. Cycled it beautifully. All right. Okay. That was unexpected. All right. Asking for guidance. Do we continue? Continue. Okay. So we'll go back to the sunbeam. Follow the sun. Connect again. Come back into sun. Uh, through, the, through the eye of the sun, going into source. Connect with the ink to come into source. And then we're going to pull. While we're in the light of source, we're going to pull the information if there's another network to take out to send a beam. Come on. There. This one looks like... Uh, where is that going? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. I hate that dimension. <sighs> All right, it's um, it's going into the um, it's going into the dark dimension. It's like a void. It's not fun. I hate this place. I mean, there's no risk of anything. It's just emptiness. It's... Oh, man, I hate. All right, well, we're, we're divinely protected. We're calling in our dragons. We're gonna bring in armies, armies of dragons. Armies of dragons are leading the charge. We're gonna follow the stream in. We're gonna follow the stream in. This is the, okay. Merlin, stay at there, stay there to shine this light, keep the light all around, all here, completely protected. All right, this Viking God's here. He's given us this flame, this flame. Take the flame, take the flame. All can take this flame in their hand. Bring it in here, bring it in here. It'll light the way, it'll light the way as we're going. Okay, going into this. It's right there, it's right here. There is a, uh, an energetic, an energetic imprint of this dark queen. Put the flame in it, disintegrate this, this is, feeding some of these other networks. This will actually destroy 
her programs right here. Flame it. Dragon Collective. All flames. All flames. Flames. Disintegrate. Flames all around us. Clear this area. Flames as well. The white flame, the green dragon, that's powerful. This is just clearing everything right now. Of course, Merlin's sitting on that dragon. Okay. creating this energy ball with all of our dragons right now this energy flame is, is just growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's just dissolving any particles dissolving any programming the seal of deal crystal dimensional beings send in your light and deprogram everything that this consciousness is attached to program it all i only want to spend this little <laughs> Right, creating a circle energy field right there so nothing can come in where we are. Shield tear diet. Okay. Alright, I think we're good to exit here. I think we're good to we'll shoot this fireball through. Alright, we're gonna follow the, the source beam back into the sun and we're gonna get out of this dark dimension. Going back. As we're going back and pushing light and rays forward, so nothing can track us, nothing can trace us. And uh, all we're almost out, we're riding on our dragons, we're riding on our dragons. Somebody's got a phoenix, and that's pretty damn cool. Okay. All right, we're just gonna close up all through, all through now, all are through. Come on, come out, come out. sun connecting our third eyes with the sun going back into the sun it's connecting with the ink going into source I'm just gonna pull in golden rays over everybody right now just a quick shower cleanse it's, not, it's really not there's worse Orion's worse in that dimension but this is just rain down cool and light. Just we're all just gonna do this energy cleanse quickly. This golden light is just shining over everybody and the sh any lower frequencies is just flushing off us right now. Going into the center of Gaia, she's transmuting for us. Angelics are putting their energies over top of us now and also cleansing our energies all over our heads and our energy field and they're just sucking up any density, any dense particles over us. So we're gonna stay in here for a minute. And just let them collect anything that's dense from being in here. And uh, if there's any attachments or anything like that. Um, I only saw one, but it's already sucked up and that person's clear. Yeah, yeah. so it's the divine rays cleansing the energy. This uh, liquid light is coming over now, starting from the top of your head, going down through 
your energy field over your shoulders, over your waist, over your thighs, over your legs, and out your feet. And it's just a final flush. And then there's going to be beams, the sort of Archangel Michael coming in with the blue light, the blue light, and it's totally cleansing everybody's houses right now. So even if it's not related to this mission, this light's coming through everybody's houses and it's clearing and it's cleansing all's houses. Purple flame, blue flames coming in, clearing also energies and the houses of everybody who's here right now or, or anybody who's watching. Total cleanse, total clear. Okay. All right, so we're in the source. Nora's gonna ask if there's any more of these networks that we have to take down. <clears throat> okay, there is an Egypt, there is an Egypt, it is it is past Giza, it is east, follow the golden ray, keep going past Giza. It is above, it is above uh, maybe about 20 feet in the air here. It actually, it looks like a, it actually looks like an invisible pyramid. It's a, but it's a dark, it's an energetic dark pyramid and they have been secretly tying this into the pyramid network without us realizing okay where's the door open 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 okay divinely shielded divinely shielded the lumerian shields are activated lumerian shields are on the lumerians are coming to assist us now okay their consciousness is with us the consciousness they're sending in blue rays all over this pyramid what are you do go inside go inside the blue rays are protecting us the blue rays are protecting us go inside is another one of these stations um these uh, quantum computer things here so we're gonna uh with with intention however you got to break down the program right now we're going to consciously break this down calling in the crystal dimensional beings to send in the codes to break all this this program down and break this pyramid and dissolve it and the red dragon all at the same time. Okay. Ooh, Phoenix has got a solar ray. That is cool. Sending in solar rays over this thing, exposing it. Uh, it's breaking it down. It's breaking its cellular structure down. Well, it's energetic structure. Uh, okay. All right, anybody inside this pyramid, it's time to exit out of the pyramid. We're gonna take it down here with light. Oh, cool. The red dragon just ate something from the top of that pyramid, whatever was powering it. It's disengaged from the network now. Very neat. Okay. Phil's got something here. Billy, I think you're channeling some energy. Are you building a vortex around this thing or something? Or this is Phil. This is Phil. They've been using it once the entire time. Yeah, I saw the eye of the dragon. I've got the eye of the dragon, the golden eye in my hand. Bringing it over top of this. Whoa. This thing is tied into the universe. It's sending this light through and it's there's all these dark pyramids just killing them all at the same time Whoa. oh they are prison they've imprisoned consciousness here goodbye chains are broken 
chains are broken off. Nope, stop. Back. You who are not welcome is not your prisoner anymore. on another planet. Okay, I'll break these, all these dark pyramids up. Everybody just channel as much light as you can and send it into this, through the vortex, through the eye of the dragon, and we're just gonna destroy all of these dark pyramids and all the other planets and the other systems here. Photons coming the sun, coming the sun. much as you can there, Phil. Let's just take this thing out. It's almost done. Almost got it. Huge. That was huge. Alright, we did it. That was insane. Amazing. Great job, everybody. Wow. Okay. We got, we're, we're really close to being done here if we're not already. Is gone. And then Phyllis is going to send his vortex up to source. And if there is any remnants, it just goes up there. Perfect. All right, we'll go back into the um, eye of the sun. Connect again the one here inside the sun portal with the ink. Going into source the light. It's done. That was it. Fantastic. Okay. All right. While we're in source here, Phil, if you want to lead the charge on um, deprogramming that uh, um, that oh. hormone that's created, whatever. So once it's extracted for dark purposes, it has okay. reverse. I asked the source. We asked the source. You, part of humanity is very, very dark. We've been creating a blood in a barbaric way from children. We ask the source to change this molecule that they've created to do the opposite to what they, to what the source thinks it should be. Like an aging, they think it will decrease their ages. We ask them to pull it, we ask the source for help. Help the children, help remove this barbaric method by aging the blood to drink the blood of children. Channeling source energy to change this molecule for dark intentions to have it at a 10 times reverse effect of what they are using this for. It's like a fair molecule. 
They are stealing consciousness out of motion. We're going to set the intention that we're going to give all consciousness back that they've taken. As they did it in breaking universal law, calling in source to enforce universal law. Give all intention, all consciousness that was ever taken back in Earth, all consciousness that was ever stolen, give it back to source, declaring universal law, sending in now, breaking all dark magic, bringing all consciousness back to source that was ever taken, in all timelines and all parallels and all realities, sending now. out to all the growth systems and to the collective consciousness so we go all carry these codes now Purple flame over everybody right now. Purple flame within our houses. Purple flame over our energy fields. Just cutting all dense energies, cutting all cords that no longer serve. Just cleansing energetic fields. While you're doing this, everyone can do a grounding as it's being done. Oh, right. Uh, let's do a grounding code to you. Five or six. Activate, enhance, amplify, expand. Extra grounding for everybody too. I I am saying that we've done well. Okay, that's channel I am. We have done what most have feared to do. Uh, what most forgot to do. It is through the divine heart that has led us all here. It is through the divine heart that has led us all together. United in a stand against the darkness programs that has led humanity descending is now lifted all will remember it's time to celebrate and rejoice have a gift of love Source level love, unconditional love. I'm sending you now. Tune into your hearts. Feel this love pulse through your energy. It is the love of I am, it's the love of creation. There's a love of light on high. It's a love of origins. We appreciate you. 
Thank you. It is my gift to you. Heart expansion. Divine heart, galactic heart, universal heart are all expanding within your energy systems now. It is a gift from I am. It's a gift of eternal love, eternal gratitude. Okay, thank you. And he's saying, or I am a saint, because I am is not male nor female, but I am a saint. That all our energies are clear, or all our energies are cleaned. We don't have the fear of anything, we're completely cleaned from source. David, I'd just like to thank everyone who assisted all, every, all the Galactics and everyone. Yeah. I'd like to thank the Dragon Collective, the Phoenix, Merlin, Toth, Hermes, the Archangels, the Angelics, Father Mother Creation. And all, all of us. <laughs> Leo Ross Sugar came in too and helped. I'll thank him. Like I am, like I am, like the Ascended Masters. You know, probably, most likely, everybody's feeling a large amount of energy around them right now. This is part of this expansion. It will be, um, I will be upgrading chakras as well because of the uh, chakras need to get upgraded when your heart gets upgraded. It's all in all in one upgrade right now. High energy rays are coming over all right now. Very, very expansionary rays. Ascension light. Even a universal ascension light, this is going to be helpful for ascending out of this universe. It's also part of this gift. Universal ascension rays are coming in to our third eyes right now. And then over our energy field, Yeshua is assisting. seeing our one consciousness right now our one consciousness of across all universes is being increased uh, I don't know how it's just what was coming through Gaia this is also an activation for Gaia sending in all codes down to the center of Gaia to assist her channeling right from source also sending into inner earth assisting Lumerians on inner earth expansion codes for all it's for it's universal expansion codes this, this was an expansion for the universe uh, this is actually pretty big bigger than I thought it was going to be fireworks going off in heaven right now this huge celebration it's totally totally unique okay all right 
right. Okay, so we're gonna go back from this. We're gonna step out of source. Whereas before we leave, we're just gonna be thankful for this expansion. Thank you for this expansion, and they're thankful. And they're thankful for us. Just one quick united energy of all source and all these scented masters and angelic beings and galactic beings, and we'll just quickly share in this love energy for a moment. Don't have to leave so quickly. This was a very, very important mission, very successful mission too. And all, all here now connected in gratitude and unconditional love for all. did this this is amazing okay all right we well we want to come back with full consciousness here so we're going to go back and we're going to follow the beam from the sun directly to inner earth where we started out into the blue crystal of inner earth the lamarian world so just follow the sun beam go down into inner earth to the blue crystal You can see the rejoicing in the inner or in the inner earth with Lumerians. You can see them. They're all clapping the light beams. The Lumerians are literally jumping for joy. This was very good. Very good. More than we know. Okay. Uh, it's incredible. Okay. Um, and now we're going to follow this blue beam up to our sacred heart in the golden circle and we're going to return to our consciousness back into the golden circle so we're going to go back up into the golden circle in our heart energy where we started the one that has all the uh, uh, patterns of um, sacred geometry in it we're going to come back in it and our guides are there just meeting us and they're hugging us and they're shaking our hands. Some high fives are going on. Big hugs. <laughs> so much gratitude, so much gratitude. It's beautiful. We'll stay here for a minute as well. so well okay. and then we're just going to go back through our heart our heart portal that comes back into our now our consciousness when you're ready just call back your consciousness within from your heart portal and let's come back within your consciousness and you can wiggle your fingers, you can wiggle your toes, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes and uh, that was amazing. That was incredible. That's that one base there by Dubai, that was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> oh, this one's occupied, guys. <laughs> the, the creature the guards. David, you know the end game where you got them creatures with four legs. I like them there. I've got I've, I've got a lot of pain on my arms. By the way. <laughs> Some of them look really down. weird, like like they were they were um, almost like fish reptilian. If that makes sense, it was a really weird a couple weird beans there for sure. But yeah, the, the end game the end game with the, with the, the yeah. people on four legs. That was I awesome. like them. Yeah. Which. Uh, I didn't get me sorted out quick enough. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, we're all talking, and I'm like, and I just see Phil just going, just diving into circle attack mode. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Phil's already gone. I started taking some of them on, and that was amazing. 
that was crazy too with those dark pyramids it wasn't just on earth and all of a sudden when we shot that light through and it just started connecting to all these ones in space and then other planets and stuff i'm like whoa that's crazy um so the network um, the, the layer Kuna, of sugar came in through me i was Oh yeah. Yeah, Leo Ross Sugar came in. I was I was nearly going to break out into Leo Ross Sugar, but I kept quiet. I was doing it, <laughs> but I he was literally with. Me. Man, that's cool. I can still hear you. What did you think, Rhonda? Wow. Oh, man, when we went to the the emptiness and the and the darkness and there was like nothing there i just felt like so much i started crying i mean i felt so much compassion like cuz there was nothing and i wanted to give it something you know i just i just started crying wow that was amazing that's yes, only my second time there but um, I, I don't like that place. It's, it's well, no, at the same time, it's, it's, yeah. it's uh, empty and sad, and yes, um, yeah. it's just wow. I mean that, yeah. I felt bad for whatever's there. I just felt bad yeah. for them, you know. I've been there a few times, and it's, it's just nothing. It's ah, like being in the bo- bottom of a pit, and there's nothing there. Right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah it's ultimate wow. it would be the ultimate like uh ultimate sentence and if you ever had to spend any lengths of time there just be so lonely and just destitute and really empty yeah yeah. Oh. yeah i don't know if any if anybody spends any time there like i'm i'm not sure i know there are like there is areas within there that has some really de- demonic beings and stuff like that but they started to become aware of us after a bit but so i just created this energy block so they couldn't get through where we were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you guys see like an eye watching on the dark pyramid part? Um there was it seemed like that we were being watched at that part when we when we got to the dark pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there was a lot there's a lot watching for sure there was. That was uh that was a network that's been there for 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, whatever it is. It could even be 500,000 years old for all we know. Like it's, who knows how old that that was. I don't remember. It'll come to us. So we're gonna start remembering a lot now, that's for sure. It's a molecule change, by the way, David. It's to do with the reptilian, what, what they do. It's related to the alien, the dark aliens. Yeah. Well, that was intense. I could feel the heat on that chain. Did you when we when we went through all those pyramids? Mm. Yeah, that was great. That was nuts. Just totally unexpected. Uh, you know when you said that, that, that black pyramid, dark pyramid, I got a normal one, but it was like a layered. It's like layered pyramid. So it was de- it was black, but it was disguised. Yeah, that's what I got. It. Yeah, well, it was it was black below, like the whatever kind of energy they put to make it invisible, right? And then below that, was I also like, got a double-ended pyramid. It's like double-ended as well. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah, yeah. The, it was like inverted, and and the, it was like, yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was interesting too. That was cool. Yeah. It's a typical Sunday. <laughs> typical Sunday for light workers. But look at, luckily the football was on earlier. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't miss the football this time. <laughs> Man, what an well, adventure that was. Those, wow. those individuals are going to have a, a bit of a shock uh, with their special drink, huh? Mm. Yeah. Woohoo! That's great. Uh, I, I, I actually wanted it to turn it into poison, actually, but <laughs> that's probably a bit dark. In that, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might be. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
is definitely a, a, high, a wonderful, powerful afterglow of uh, success. Hey, honey, how are you? Hi. Hi, who's that? That's Rhonda. Rhonda, you look so different. What's up, girl? Thanks for the Yeah, invite. it's oh. called gray hair, dear. <laughs> it's wow. not purple. <laughs> are you in Arizona? Yes, I am. Thank you for joining us. I'm so happy to see yeah, you. Likewise. This is my family. Family? This is Brent. <laughs> Hi, Brent. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. You know, this is ironic, though, this whole experience. I mean, I wasn't, I got the invite today, but last night I had a very powerful uh, multi dimensional dream of this whole event. Wow. And we should all start remembering some pretty cool stuff. Like, yeah, like this, yeah. this is a definitely a, um, in the dream, we won. The, the hierarchy told me we won. Our goal, our mission is complete. We, we absolutely have won. And then to see this happen today is a manifestation in this dimension of a confirmation of the, the, the victory. So, so David, I'm, I'm uh, wondering, is she a, um, like a royal of the, the dark side? Is she like reptilian or what? I she know was, she was probably her, created like by that. one of the first archangels that, that chose to leave, she, chose to leave. She's so like, I, a, I, I reckon she's like a dark god. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so not really a fallen angel, but something else. Yeah, an early creation, an early creation of darkness for sure. And she's she's definitely been in some of the craziest battles um, representing okay. the dark that, that I've... And I'm sure it goes way beyond even Earth and this whole Earth timeline. It, She's meddling in Asgard as well. Like, what else has she been meddling in? Probably even other universes would be my guess, but it's so hard to say. Hmm. The thing is, we different because without dark, there's light. Light and dark's got to be balanced. Right. She's the imbalance of a. It made it imbalanced. Right. Yeah, she just tipped the scales she, way she, too much. The event me and David went on. Yeah. The, the event me and David went on, uh, we, we've we got that on tape, but we can't show it. <laughs> and it really is a uh, unbelievable one. And why can't you show it? It's too just dark. too dark. Oh, uh, okay. We had a spec, we, and it actually, it was two days of solid cleanse, energy cleansing, and going into the tree of life. And then on top of it, like, it, it took me, it actually took me three days. Like it was two days of intense. Days. Two days Holy of intense crap, energy clearing. Oh, it's so like gross! A, it's like a it's tar. Like tar. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really stop that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, no tar bath for me, thank you. Uh, David, we we both set tar at the same time. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was it, my least favorite mission that we've gone on because it was just so gross. But it was um, the the funnest to go in that rainbow pyramid and flying like that was the funniest the funnest one of the funnest things i've ever done in an yeah, astral travel ronda the event we went on they had three pyramids shaped like orion and it all uh -huh. tech all pointing here and most of the underneath orion was their bases it went on the surface of underneath that was quite oh hard. yeah that was quite, quite insane and it wasn't just Ooh. like one type of reptilian or draconian there was like a whole um, community. It's about, 19, it's about 19 species, and some of them weren't, they, they were like staff, they'd employed them onto the planet. Oh you know my. what I mean? They were like uh, workers. They might even be some slaves, they might have gone from all the planet, I just don't know. Don't know. Yeah, is that, is that the time where you guys, it, was, that, was that the encounter with the, I think it was the army of the Draconians, wasn't it? Or an army of reptilians, I think that was the time? Yeah, it was that, yeah. it was a different one. Okay. There's too many to keep up. <laughs> yeah. Many, Guys are awesome. Many, we, we had a lot of casualties on that. 
we had thousands of casualties. It wasn't oh. that. Oh, oh, I, even, I even had an energetic wound. It took me like a, like a week to heal that thing. It was brutal. I got oh. sliced, sliced right in the gut. Yeah. Oh yeah, I felt it too. I felt the pain. I felt the energy. Oh pain. my. Oh yeah. It comes back to us. You know, if you're protected, how come that? How can that happen? Uh, it's because I, I, I left the, I left the, the uh, the spaceship uh, pyramid, and I went in to help fill in the battle. And it was just too much going on. There's too many, too many, mm. um, too many fighting. And uh, um, I guess um, it, it was just so much. Like in this dark queen, we had to face her. We had to face her and force her to sign this peace agreement and she was lashing out these energies at me too and Phil and um but they, yeah. def they deflect yeah. it I guess like I guess something somehow it got part of it got through like you're connected yeah. yeah some of my skin is brown shaped brown I just hope I didn't oh my <laughs> gosh <laughs> so it actually changed some of my skin oh That's my like, goodness yeah. I'm not getting it checked. <laughs> might give me the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. All so, right. That's the only mission that we've never shown, just because it's like there's because you you would be able to take on some harm on going into that one or whatever. So it's um, and, and density good. and like and it's just so much energy clearing and cleansing and stuff. It was it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the best missions in the we're not broadcasting. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. No. Never. Most people are not prepared for that. I don't think they ever would actually. Uh, yeah. We weren't even. <laughs> no. Yeah. We thought we were. But it, it was an all out war. It was like the conclusion of the Orion Wars. It was, that's what it was like. It was yeah. like, uh, in because there's no such thing as the, the beginning or the the end of time it all happens at the same time so just it felt like all this this final part of the orion wars had actually concluded in the in the future which is not which in the now it was weird it was but that's what it was it was mm -hmm. we, we we vowed we'd never go there again oh following week we were doing a clean uh, a past life cleanse on a person together and it was cleansing our life on orion <laughs> so, so we went back in the following week. Oh, jeez. Right? That was, that was insane. Weird. Yeah. So, David, I, I was holding on to your ankle. Did you, did you feel my my grip on your ankle? Because <laughs> you use your hands. I didn't want to get in your way, right? So I'm holding on to your ankle when we're going places. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's, it wasn't... <laughs> It's too funny, but yeah, I grab onto whatever you want to grab onto. Uh, ankle cool. is fine. Ankle's good. Ankle's good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I said that too fast. 